everyone, in today's iPhone video, I wanna show you how to cast or mirror your iPhone on your Mac. This is great for presentations you're doing on your iPhone. You could also record your iPhone this way right on your Mac. So I use it all the time on conference calls, for example. I just mirror this to my Mac and then show people what I'm doing on my Mac. Now there are two ways you could do this. One requires you to physically plug in your iPhone to your Mac. This also works for iPads too. And the other one lets you do this wirelessly. I wanna show you both ways. So the very first option is you just use one of these cords this is the cord that comes with your phone that you use to charge your phone. So this end of it is gonna go to your Mac. It doesn't matter what Mac you have either. And this end of it goes to your iPhone. So I'll show you this first. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And once you plug it in, come up to the search icon right here. Click this, it should be on top. And look for QuickTime Player. This is installed on every Mac. Double click that and it's gonna open up QuickTime Player, and you'll see it right up here, it says QuickTime Player. And I wanna to go to File, and I wanna click New Movie Recording. Press this. And here, click this little drop-down right here, and you wanna choose your iPhone from the drop-down under Camera. Right now, it's just on the HD camera here. We want this one. I'll click on that. And as soon as I open up my iPhone, you could see it right here on my screen. So whatever I do on my iPhone now, it's gonna show up right here on my screen with almost no delay whatsoever. So if I just open up any app, it's showing everything right here in real time. And if you wanna record this screen here, all you have to do is press this record option right here, and it's gonna record your phone screen. And if you go ahead and press X here, it lets you export it as a movie file to your desktop, for example, so it will show up right here if you save that file. So that's how you cast it and record it on your computer. So that's one way to do it. The other way is a way to do it wirelessly. So you could actually unplug your phone, but to do this, we do need to get a software. I've been using this software for almost four years and I really like it. Let me show you how that works. The software is called Reflector and this is nice because it works on PCs too, works on Macs and wirelessly screen mirrors your phone here and your iPad too if you like. Go ahead and do a free trial if you like. I already purchased this and I have it, as I mentioned, I've had it for years. But you could just do a free trial to see if this is right for you. This is what we're looking at, Reflector 3. If you're watching this when Reflector 4 is out, it's probably gonna be very similar. Press download here. Now let me go ahead and open mine up here, Reflector 3. And I just jumped into my phone here because we have to turn something on on the phone. So on the right top corner of your phone, you wanna bring this command center right here. And on this page, you wanna press and hold where it says screen mirroring. As long as your phone is not plugged into anything, that's what it should say. Press and hold on that. And you should see something that says iMac. That's what you wanna click on. It's the second one for me. I have some other wireless devices here like my Apple TV, but I wanna choose screen mirror. Here, make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi on your Mac and on the iPhone or the iPad. It has to be on the same Wi-Fi connection. Click this, and then it's gonna ask you to type in a code that you see on your Mac. So I'm gonna type in that code here to my phone, 1848, press OK, and there it is. This is my iPhone right here. It's a tiny bit of delay, but it's almost not noticeable here with a good Wi-Fi connection. And I did make sure my Wi-Fi is on the same Wi-Fi and the same Bluetooth here as my Mac. Now with this, I could go ahead and shrink this down. And what's nice about this, it actually puts a border around your phone. So if I just press record right up here, you see this option to record your screen? It's gonna start recording it. And let me go ahead and stop the recording here. It's gonna finish the recording and save this file for me. So I'll save it to my desktop here so I could show it to you, there it is. Now here it is, it recorded with sound. I just have it on mute right now, but you could see I put a green background, but you could change all the settings within the app. So if I go to the Reflector app, you could come up here and change some of the settings on their preferences. So I already did that, so you could see my broadcast name. This is what my iPhone saw. You could see what happens on hover, and here under recording, you could see my background set to green, so you could go ahead and change that. You could change the resolution here. Mine's set to 4K, so I actually recorded my phone in 4K. 
recording is set to very high so the highest option at 30 frames so those options are available to you and there's other advanced options here too you could explore and it's really that easy to cast your phone with a cable using QuickTime or with reflector using this wireless method I hope you found this video useful I post easy to follow tech videos on this channel every single day with over a thousand videos and I hope to see you next time